everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to another video of anna vlog i hope you all are fine and keeping well love story wala by kumar ganesh very very much famous for, uh, for me uh, i have just done a little survey like about the book that how many readers are reading it uh, like uh, how many people are liking this book and uh, the results or the result turned out to be great very very much famous book uh, love story wala and every fellow reader of mine who i know personally uh, is reading this book and they really feel blessed that i too got the opportunity uh, or my mind uh responded me with the opportunity to read this book and uh, share my views with you all um in abundance because i really wanted to talk about this book because nowadays uh, i have seen that uh, people are reading books uh, that are uh, very much kind of uh, romantic based or the uh, genre is about romantic love or love or hugging kissing only these things are happening and there is actually no content and i am devastated with this fact that um, authors there are many authors who can frame this uh, particular genre beautifully with a very a uh, strong content and can uh, present to the readers something very helpful and useful also helpful and useful why i am using this two such similar words because helpful i am saying in the case that they can uh, use it Yeah, this is my kind of interpretation but actually helpful and useful both are synonymous words but i put it differently and i want to share my experience with you with you all on this that is uh, for me uh, helpful is something uh, associated with academic purposes and useful is something that you can um, use it in your day to day lives so for me this two have some different kind of uh, um, uh, meanings uh, and for me this two are not synonymous words uh Uh, so uh, moving on uh, here we see um, that um, there are eight stories and i actually enjoyed reading eight of them but the most favorite of mine is ek pal ka jeena and uh, which reminded me of rithik roshan's ka those uh, iconic dances of uh, that particular i think iconic step was there in ek pal ka jeena now i cannot recall it properly and uh, reminded me of rithik roshan's and i find maybe somewhere about him something will be written but actually it was not and it is really great uh, that uh, a title uh, of a particular chapter uh, that uh, that might remind you of uh, some persona some celebrity like rithik roshan but actually in the story uh, you don't have uh, such sort of uh, role of the celebrity to play or any role to play um, i really love the concept here and uh, here it talks about the story ikpal ka jeena where the tale of akash and paramita and i really love this thing because this love and first sight thing actually happens uh, in uh, what to say in in abundance nowadays because i have heard stories from my friends or you know, from people and even from my elders also on this love and first sight one thing and the uh, and there were no such future of those two people who were engaged in such things in their future um actually uh, like uh, uh, as is a treat for the readers so that they can enjoy uh, not only the good side of love or the very positive side of love where there only affirmations and affirmations full of affirmations uh, but here get to see a different view where akash and paramita these two characters they meet with each other uh, like out of a blue and they fell in love and uh, soon they departed so actually uh, like uh, I, which i would love to mention here that is um, the very thing which i uh, feel uh, uh, or felt while i was reading the book or i generally feel that there are some love which never begins love stories or love there are some love stories or love which actually gets end to an end uh, after a after a very long time and there are some love stories which are just meant for this first and uh, this uh, this love at first sight and they eventually gets departed or ends in a fraction of seconds so that um, the same thing happens in case of akash and paramita and these moments where uh, that akash and paramita these two are conversing and where this uh, uh, one of the characters here says that uh, ki uh maybe we will meet some day or we will not but this moments which was there is it's just more than amazing and uh, this this will be remembered forever 
this i really this, this part i really liked and i feel that uh, this kind of positive approach in a character is very much important while uh, anyone is reading a love story that never uh, ends to uh, 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 never ends to an unison and um, never ends to an uh, uh, to a unison and the characters are departed in such a way so uh, really really th this kind of stories must be written more um, and i really thank the author for bringing out such stories uh, for his readers uh where his readers will not only uh, be happy to read such stories because we usually don't enjoy reading stories where the characters actually uh, uh like it's not a good day not a happy ending for the characters we actually don't you know, even in case of uh, uh, films also we don't like those films where you know, hero and heroine uh, they uh, they do not uh, uh, form a happy ending or they get parted or they die or something like that but actually this type of love story should also be encouraged uh, where the two do not uh, meet to an happy ending or the fate is uh, uh, not to get in touch with each other or they get married to someone this kind of stories must be encouraged so that we can see a different a perspective of love we can also understand it um so it's very much important uh, i which i feel so um i would uh, request or i would uh, recommend this book to all the readers out there if you are very much into reading love story romantic stories please uh, read this book because you will see a very different side of love which is very important because i have always said that a coin has two sides and uh, both the sides a particular coin two sides but both the sides are not same so it's very important for all elements in our lives for happiness also happiness have two sides you are you may be happy for a, a good reason you may be happy for a bad reason similarly for love also there is a uh, reason for a good love there is a reason for a bad love not bad love a positive love on the negative love and don't portray this negative love to be very much negative or spreading negative negativity no this negative love actually i meant here to make you people explain actually it is not negative love it is a love that never meets that never joins with each other by a single or by a same thread of fate so which is what i wanted to mean it's not don't please don't take it otherwise it's not negative means negativity no it's not like that so this is what i just wanted to convey through my video and i hope you people will uh, really really enjoy reading this book and if you uh, even if you think that you have liked my video and this video is a uh, I had something made you laugh, cry, or instill a sort of emotions inside your your mind. Then please do not forget to like, share, and comment, and subscribe my YouTube channel. And I will be very soon up with a new book, uh, with some new experiences, with some new views to share with you all. Bye bye.